All right, welcome back, card fans, to uh, fan card fan submission mail two. Let's do it. Yeah, uh, this one uh, Ted busy tonight, but we wanted to get this open because there's something in here that we're gonna need later this week, and so we wanted to get it on film first. Uh, so this is Monday mailbag single box. Um, and uh, this is the second time that we've had uh, a viewer of the channel submit something. So uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll get started. Uh, so we got Ted virtually right uh, uh, there. I'm in my usual spot. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. Your voice is still coming uh, from, you know, the right side of everything. The starboard, the starboard side. Uh, if you say so. I'm uh, not a nautical expert by any means. Thank you. Ooh, all right. Oh boy, what do we got? I can't see anything. Uh, I see a lot of cardboard. Okay. And some sealed boxes. Some sealed boxes, and these sealed boxes are uh, pretty much the main reason we're getting this opened. Baby. Leaf draft two autographs per box really? uh, we got one two three four of these bad boys hang on I'm just checking your math on that yes I got the same thing uh, yeah. That's good. Killer math. So, uh, what these are really important for, uh, as you know, we are the CLE card guys, and CLE is shorthand for Cleveland. I'm Captain Obvious. And Cleveland is the home of the 2021 NFL Draft. So later this week, you're going to see us open this inside the draft. Uh, managed to snag some tickets for the first round. So Thursday night, going to go and uh, just hang out at the draft. Uh, probably go like live from Instagram at some point there just to like say hey. Uh, and then depending on um, if we're both able to be there or just one of us, uh, we might open up a couple of these, might open up just one. Not sure yet exactly the logistics, but we are going to open up Leaf Draft Football at the NFL Draft. And then when it's over, we're going to leave the draft. And it comes full circle, just like that. So that's oh, what those are for. Great. Yeah, really excited for that. Really excited to go to the draft. Um, I've How heard that... get picked by a good team? Yeah, uh, I'm you know hoping that the, the Browns see me uh, and are impressed you know, just by my presence, uh, you know, I haven't gotten to do any of the interviews or stuff like that yet. So, uh, you know, I'm going to be like a game time decision, but I think, I think I can snag a spot on a team and hopefully it's the Browns. Cause then I don't have to move. I hope I get to buy Mel Kuyper a drink. Ooh. Yeah. We'll get beers with Mel Kuyper. I'm good with that. Uh, That'd be great. maybe play some pong with, uh, Todd McShay. Uh, we would kick their butts at home. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, Zan the Bogats. This has nothing to do with what we were supposed to be doing over here. All right. So that's uh, that's coming later this week, but there's more in this box. We've got... That's what we got, baby. I'm going to get just everything out of the Wait, box. Is that what baby Moses floated down the river in? I, th I think it is. And then there's an iPhone case. iPhone case first? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Diet. Okay. Diet. I All right. Know. Okay. Steady. Head. What if it's an iPhone? Maybe. That would be hilarious. Somebody's just telling us we need another camera angle. <laughs> Ooh. 
Right. Let's go, baby. Oh, jeez, the Indians just lost. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Good old Bieber giving up two homers in one inning. Classic. Freaking, I never felt any sort of way about Ruth Neto Door until he became a member of the Yankees and started hitting multiple home runs against Cleveland. I am, st I am struggling right now I can see that. with I'm this. I'm trying to talk about Ruth Neto Door instead yeah. of watching you deal with that. Yeah, didn't wasn't he? What was his like? He had beef with someone when he was on the uh, Rangers, right? Uh, he punched Jose Bautista in the face. That's what it was. Yeah. If that, if you consider that having beef, then yeah, then yeah. Yeah, beef. I consider it beef. Ooh. Okay, looks like we got Ooh. some uh, old Pokemans like that. in here. Like that a lot. Ooh. We got Japanese in the back. Looks like some base set two. Charmeleon. These are all clearly like at least binder kept, if not sleeve kept. Squirtle. Kakuna. Any creasing on these bad boys at all? No. They are clean. Clean as clean can be. Ooh! Old Articuno promo, Dark Clarion, Marip, Totodile, Bayleaf. Oh, okay. Got some starters in the house. Yeah. Oh, Granbo with like lightning coming all around it. That's pretty cool. Sudowoodo. Oh, and now we got some Japanese. Oh, the Muck, Marrow. I had a fampy in my pants. Alright. Mm-hmm. Hop up. Ooh. Oh. That's a cool Pikachu. Neo Genesis. It's a hell of a mouse. Yeah. The lantern. Okay. Sweet. Cool Love it. commons and uncommons in that article. That was pretty sweet. Uh yeah. not an iPhone, but better. Yeah, better than an iPhone. Maybe. Depending on I like who you this, ask. This packaging. I think this is the uh, Ark of the Covenant. This is how they opened packs in the 1800s. <laughs> All right. I mean, the cards are like safe in it. Sure. Like it was, you know, tight in there. Nice. Yeah. Oh, jeez. This uh, Spiro is stuck to some painter's tape. Got a taped up Spiro. Ooh, got it off. And a Firo. All right. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, I love that rapid ass tangle. Mm -hmm. Jinx, a couple of bangers back to back. Nice. Back. Okay, so we got just some base set boys going on here. Classic Pikachu, oh. Charmander, the Char Pikachu, you get excited. <laughs> you always hope that those cheeks are blushing, blushing for you. Okay, we got most of the most of the starters the, uh, here. How's the condition on these bad boys? They're uh, perfect. They look pretty good, yeah. Yeah, no creasing. Uh, minimal whitening on the back. If anything, most of them looks like there's nothing. Corners are right. in good shape. None of them are as off centered as that Clefairy. That's the that's gonna be a forever record, I think. Do you still have that? Uh, I think I do. I'd have to double check. I've sold Let's like a, a couple of them, I think. Um, but I think I still I have that one. That. I might trade you something for that. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I think it's still around. It's just hilarious. Yeah, it's the most off-centered card in Pokemon history. It has to be. To get it, I would love to get it graded. <laughs> the thing is, the rest of it's in good enough shape that, like, I don't think, uh, like... It's... I don't know. I think if you have more than, like, a six. Let's just say the rest of the card is pristine. I still think it's, like, a six. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the rest of it might not be, uh, yeah. 
I think it's a max of five, but okay. Uh, I think we got some yeah, got some, some rares here. Yes, yeah, this is a Dom fan uh, Japanese, which is a rare. Murkrow. Oh yeah, baby. which is a rare. Ooh, the uh, Japanese Blossom. And these uh, look very good. Does does Japanese cards seem to have less whitening? I, I think. Yeah, I th I feel like. I think it's that glossy back. I think holds up better. Yeah, like they just seem like they're, and because like I don't know, they have like that red board, and they have like a couple spots that are white on them already. It sure. kind of like it just. Yeah, it just it shows a little better. Uh, however, like, it's harder to tell, like, the front, because it kind of goes, it's almost like a gradient around the outside, like the gold border. Sometimes right. it's hard to tell, like, you know, is it worn, or is that just, like, part of that border? Um, Rainbow Energy. Ooh, this promo Mew is in very good shape. Little top bottom, but left right is pretty much perfect. Love to see that. Awesome. Ooh, I think yeah, all of these are top loaded, so I think uh, we might be in for some uh, treats here. This is so much fun. Uh. So yeah, if uh, I mean, this, I guess is a good time as any to do you know a plug for this, but. Uh, these are sent to us by a buddy of ours, uh, and we are actually just selling these cards for him, uh, and got a system worked out for uh, sharing in the uh, profits. So if you have collections of stuff that you want sold or stuff that you want, you know, help figure out how much it's worth, hit us up. Uh, we're always up for something like that. But ooh, absolutely. First edition, wheezing. Really good shape. Like, mm. perfect centering. That's a really nice card. First edition Snake. Backwards. Nice. Same thing. Super clean. First edition Golduck. Oh, one of my Ooh. favorites. The Dragonite. You know what it is on that card? It's the colors of the background. Yeah, well, that and is a beautiful card. When we talked that one time about like the colorless cards being like just that they pop so much more, so it's the combination of like the colorless card, just like the background color, and then like the color on the Dragonite too is like just yeah. really appealing. So that overall, is one of the prettiest cards. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of a, when we first started doing this, I had a first edition hollow of this that was like pristine uh that i sold yeah i got really really good money for it so i was like i'm happy to me huh show me that dragonite let me see that bad boy oh yeah so uh, That's a great looking card. now looking back and like how much i've sold other stuff for and like i probably i could have funded the stuff that i've done without selling that card and by like selling a couple others and I wish I would have, because that card was just, like, beautiful. Uh, well, it's all part of this adventure of hobby. You make some mistakes, you have some regrets, you learn some lessons. Yep. And uh, so now that'll probably be on my list of ones that I'm keeping an eye out for in the future. Classic Pidgeot Rare. This one looks a little more beat up than some of the others. A little bit more whitening on the corner. A little crease on the side there. Not terrible, but it's just uh, most of the ones in this have been, like, really, really clean. So it just makes it stick another, out that much more. It's another one of my favorite arts is Pidgeot. The, the Pidgeot one? The, yeah. The action shot. It's yeah. so great. It almost looks like more like hand... Like, I don't know. Just, like, the way that it's, like, filled out. Like, it's just a little bit more artful than, like... The Kangaskhan one. You know, like, these are from the same yeah. set. They're both uh, colorless. But, like, just that Pidgeot one looks more Pidgeot like a... Pidgeot was, like, taken... Like, it's like it's like a, like a sports photo, like an action shot. Whereas Kangaskhan's, like, posing for his yearbook photo. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like, it's not bad, but, the, you know, like, all three of these are from the same set. And just, like, this Pidgeot one is so much more right. exactly. uh, interesting looking. I mean, but then this guy's a classic. <laughs> he can't beat that. Classic boy. And then another That's classic. Yeah. Oh, man. How are, like, all of them iconic? Like, how did they do that? Yeah. They, uh, well, there's a reason that it's the biggest, like, media franchise in the world. Like, Dang. Pokemon is not a, not a little deal. And, like, here? looks like we got a little, a little Beedrill. Pincer, but from base set two. I always find that interest. So, like, the ones that came from, like, other sets besides, like, base set, base set. Seeing them with, like, the base set 2 is always interesting to me. So, like, you know, Pinsir was yeah. originally part of, like, the, the jungle. So then it's weird just seeing that other one. And I wonder, like, if people, like, value one more than the other. I feel like the jungle one would be worth more than the base set 2 one. Yeah, it probably just depends which one's less common, I guess. Yeah. What's, uh, what does it say underneath Pinsir's photo? What does it say, like, what kind of Pokemon is it? It's the Stag Beetle Pokemon. <laughs> Which, by the way... Right. I'm glad I asked. That was totally worth it. You ready for the size of this bug? Let me, get, let me guess. All right. Uh, two foot ten inches tall, 36 pounds. Uh, four eleven, weight 121 pounds. <laughs> That is the most terrifying bug ever. Yeah, that's a meal. You could put that on a spit and roast it. That is if you took fourth grade me and made it into a bug with horns. And that mouth on pincers is yeah. very scary. These claws, like the feet, like that's that's legit terrifying. I gotta look at the stag beetle and see if it resembles pincer. Ooh, and then the rare trainers. Yeah, three rare trainers. Last Pokemon Trader and Pokemon Trader. Oh. Love it. So I was packaging up stuff to sell. This is totally unrelated. Uh it sounds related so far, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But I came across uh in one of like the things of top loaders I purchased, this part up here was like sealed to the back. Ooh. So there was like a hole here. That was one piece of plastic. Weird. That I could not like pry open or anything. Like it wasn't just like sticking to it. It like wasn't cut there. That's so weird. It was insane. Uh, a, it's a misprint. Yeah. eBay one of one. I sold it for a million dollars. Dang, bro. You could buy so much leaf draft. You can. Yeah, Leaf, uh, I've never opened. I'm excited to. I haven't either, actually. Good call. And it's always fun to open something that, like, you've never seen before, but... Yeah. Uh, okay, some good ones in this one, I think. Aerodactyl. Classic boy. Moltres. Another classic. Ooh, first edition Kabuto. And first edition Amistar. Love it. All in really good shape. Uh, stuff like this, by the way, like, these are PWE gold. Uh, oh, yeah. Like, you try to sell these with, you know, plus four ninety nine shipping, like, you're going to sell them for you're not making any money. maybe, like, three bucks, if that. Like, if you're lucky, $4. Uh, PWE, you're going to get, like, $10, and the card is going to get there in just as good of shape, and you're making way more money and, like, attracting way more people to it. But I have sold 58 PWE cards so far. Crazy. Still have a perfect eBay rating and 100% customer satisfaction on card delivery. Yeah. Uh, only negative rating I have, I think I might have told you about this. I don't think I've said it on the channel yet, though. There was someone who, like, messaged me with, like, those homemade packs, and they were like, I want a Charizard with it. And I was like, hey, like, that's not how it works. Uh, you know, like, they're pulled randomly. Like, these are just pre-made. Um, like, I've got a big box that I just grab them out of. 
uh, and like they sent like an offer with it, you know, it's like, they're like, Hey, like I'll give you 20 bucks, but like, I want a Charizard. And I was like, well, Hey, like that, that like I countered with like the same exact value, but with a message added that was like, that's not going to happen. This is how it works. And then like, they messaged me when they got it and they're like, Hey, there wasn't a Charizard in there. I'm like, I told you there wasn't going to be. And then they left a negative review. That's horrible. Can you appeal that? Uh, I don't know. There wasn't like a thing for me to, there was a thing of like, Oh, you can try messaging the buyer. And I'm like, well, like that doesn't really do me much good. Uh, I'll so I mean, what I got the other day on, uh, I had like a ton of auctions ending for some baseball cards and a buyer messaged me or after they paid, which was the next day, by the way, it said, please ship ASAP. The mail is slow right now. Yeah. What do you think I'm going to do? You made me not want my ship as fast just because of your stupid message. Yeah. Well, did I tell you about the one, there was a guy who, uh, man, we could have a whole, like, just episode of dumb things we've had on eBay. Uh, I had someone who, I won an auction, and literally, like, seven hours later, they messaged me, and they're like, do you want me to cancel the order? And I was like, didn't pay yet. yeah, cause I, like the auction ended at like 1030. So I was already in bed. This was like while we were out on vacation. Uh, so like the auction ended at 1030. So I'd already gone to bed. I woke up the next day and then we were flying to San Francisco. And like next day, like we get to our hotel and I have a message on eBay of like, do you want me to just cancel this order? And I'm like, bro, it's been like nine hours. Like most of which was overnight. Like I have up to 48 hours to pay as the buyer. Like. No, I don't want you to cancel it. Like, just <laughs> give me like more than twenty four hours. It was crazy. So well, that's it for uh, for this box uh, of mail. That but was great. yeah, some great stuff. Always fun to go through vintage Pokemon. Always fun to see these like Black Star promos. Those are always cool. And then what I'm most excited about though is uh, getting into these guys. The Leaf Draft, we'll, yeah, we'll do stuff with them. We got four of them. I don't know, like, how it works for getting stuff in to the draft, so I, I might have to, like, find a fanny pack or something and bring some top loaders and sleeves with me. Uh, oh, that'll be fun. Hopefully, you know, I pull, like, a Justin Fields out of here, and then he's there, and then I can just get his autograph, uh, you know, in person. I don't think he's going to be there. I, I saw a list. There's only going to be like 13 players there, and I don't think he was on it. But oh, really? Trevor Lawrence was on the list. So when we pull his auto, we can get the Trevor Lawrence double auto and Ooh. sign his autograph card. There we go. And then you guys might actually, you know, see some high-end product on the channel then. I'm going to try and cut a lock of his hair. Ooh, I like it. Without him noticing. Send it into PSA. To authenticate? Authenticated yeah. DNA test. <laughs> that would be really weird. Sounds doable. Yeah. We can make it happen. Absolutely. All right. Well, we're uh, nowhere near mail anymore. I don't know what we're doing. So, like the video. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Let us know what your favorite thing was from today's video. And uh, remember to be on the lookout for us opening some draft at the draft. Uh, that'll be a ton of fun. Uh, so we'll see you guys in the next video. Ted, any parting words for the people? This video was the definition of come for the cards, stay for the friendship. It really was. <laughs> we opened some cards and have just been talking about eBay and Trevor Lawrence's hair for five minutes. That's what you stick around for. Well, my parting words besides that are check out exclusive NFL draft content. Yes. It's going to be fun. Uh, whatever we end up doing with these cards and or potentially attending the event, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, we're probably going to be the only content creators at the NFL draft, so it's going to be super yeah. exclusive. Absolutely. And drop in the comments what team do you think is going to draft me. Yeah. Uh, they do have the 40 <laughs> time there, so we'll have to get timed on the 40, and then we'll. Uh, I'm sure someone will snag us up. What team has the biggest hole at whatever I'm, whatever I do, and they need to fill that? <laughs> that's going to be a long uh, comment. Uh, <laughs> All right, I think that's I think that's.
guys. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys later. later. Thanks for watching that one. We've got a ton more out here for you mm -hmm. to watch, uh, like this one. Or this one. I don't know uh, if I answer that one. I get a great. I I got a great card in this one. So maybe check out this one. I probably lost this card battle. Don't you want to see that? Are you Team Ted or Team Josh? You Team gotta Josh let us know. Team Ted is an alliteration. So. Oh crap. I that's lose. better, probably. But you don't lose because you're gonna hit the subscribe button and watch one of these videos. Subscribe. Please like the video. I know it's dumb. Mm. I don't. Like, it's just a video. You just watch it. You don't have to like it. Just like it. It makes me feel good. That's true. All right. Uh, see you at the end of the next video. Mm-hmm. Bye.